This is the tutorial about how to use Mason 32 bit in 64 64 bit PC to produce object file and exe file for 8086 processors. To do this, the first thing we have to do is we have to install DOSBox. It's very available in net and just Google it for it and install it. Now the necessary softwares and other instructions that are required, I have kept this in a folder named Masom and it's uploaded there. I am opening the instruction file. I had the detailed instruction as written. I am just giving some explanation. The first thing we have to do is the run the DOS box. So first run the DOS box. Then we have to do is the mount the C drive of DOS box. And the C drive of DOS box should be the folder where I have kept all my softwares and SMB file together. Uh, in my case, I have kept in the D drive in Mason folder. So I am typing here mount C Mason. Now C drive is mounted. Now I have to check for it whether it has mounted uh, correctly or not. To do this, I am typing C then dir no just check the name of the files bin to hex c1 bin to hex c1 debug exe to bin okay then it's okay uh, it has mounted correctly okay now the next thing i have to do is to type masom if you start the masom software kept in this folder now i want to compile a smp file to an object file for this I have written a simple assembly file in not plus plus uh, the thing is that we have to maintain some syntax here the code must end with code ends and start with code segment org etc otherwise the message will produce some errors and it will not assemble the code correctly then uh, the message is on now I am typing the name of the assembly file it's c1.asm just c1 will do now keep pressing enter okay it has already created our object file now next thing i want to do is to produce the exe file exe file is necessary uh, for debugging the program and the exe file is produced by the link software so type link and the object file that we have produced earlier is c1 so i'm typing c1 giving enters uh, the exe file has already created now, now i am going to single stepping through the, my the assembly uh, program for do this i need the debug program it's i'm typing debug c1.exe the exe file that we have created just now enter okay now the debug program is on now to start the program i can type g it will run the program as a whole otherwise i can go by single stepping i am showing the single stepping for this i am typing t and it has done the first operation then again t now if i want to see the present values of registers i should type r and it will show me the present status of all registers then i am again typing t now if i want to finish the whole program as a total i will just type g and it will close the program now if i want to the, see the final value of registers i shall type r and this is my final value of registers um, then if we want to close our debug program and return to our toss box then just type q and enter it and close the debug program and now we are again back to the toss box and now we can again type mason it will again start mason and we can compile another asm file and we can follow the uh, procedure uh, like, uh, like previously described 